Hello, welcome. In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to tension a chainsaw chain. And I'm going to keep it very short and to the point. And it was by popular request that I did this video showing how I did it my way. So I've got an example of one of my chainsaws here. And as you can see, the tension is way too slack. So slack, in fact, that you can actually see the drive sprockets. And the worry about having a slack chain is that it can move from side to side like this when you're cutting a piece of wood. And that can sometimes throw the chain off the bar itself. And this, at best, will damage equipment and, at worst, cause a nasty injury. And first of all, we need to just slacken the securing nuts for the side cover. The size of these particular ones are 13 mil, but of course it's different for other brands of chainsaw. Okay, so a couple of turns of each is enough. We don't need to remove them completely. And now we need to find the tensioner screw. On this particular chainsaw, it's here, at the front of the bar. But on some chainsaws, it's at the back of the bar. And on others, it's in between the two screws that hold the side cover on. Now that the side cover nuts are slackened, the bar is loose and it can move up and down. And one thing to notice is, when we pull the bar upwards, this more slack appears on the chain. And so when we make the adjustment, we need to make sure that we take up this slack. And one way to do that is to pull up on the bar whilst turning the adjuster screw. But I personally find this method a little awkward, as the chainsaw sometimes slides around the table as I'm trying to adjust it. So a preferred method for me is to hold onto the chainsaw's handle and gently pull upwards until it stops. Because as we lifted, the front of the bar gently contacted the table and we got the same positioning. And then it's more stable and I can make the adjustment. And as I turn the adjuster screw clockwise, you can see the slack being taken up in the chain. And how tight do we tighten the chain? Well, the way I do it is, I make the adjustment up to the bar like this, so that it just contacts the bar, holding its own weight with no gaps between the bar and the chain. And when you pull down on it, you can't see more than three quarters of any given drive link. And when you let go, it springs back up nice and lightly up to the bar. In my opinion, any slacker than this, and you run the risk of derailing the chain off the bar, and any tighter can cause excessive wear to both the bar and the chain, especially when the chainsaw has been running for a while and heats up and we've got metal expansion. So this is why it's vital that we have some slack to allow for the heat expansion, but not too much to be dangerous. So now that's all in order, we'll tighten up the side cover nuts and this locks that adjustment in place. And so that's it. And I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I've got some more videos here that you might find useful. And if you take a look through the link below in the description to my website, I've got a free download there for you. It's basically a checklist of must do's if you're having problems with your chainsaw, if it's not running correctly or it's not starting correctly. So I want to thank you again so much for watching and I'll be back soon.